Marcus's best punch is his straight right hands. Mayweather's is also. And there's a knockdown on a left hook. Excellent left hook. And Marcus walked right into it. Mayweather not coming down to 144 pounds. Maybe he's not such a competitive advantage because it's not like Marquez had to make weight. He was moving up in weight. But it does seem to be a competitive advantage because it seems to have nullified... Oh, well, Floyd Mayweather's speed and skill. He moves from a punch, counters and lands a punch, and gets away from another punch. All at the same... The, same the 34 punch is landed by Mayweather, his high number for the fight. He's doing whatever he wants to do. Against the Hall of Fame opponent. Yeah, you know, guys like Roy Jones and Oscar De La Hoya had fights in their careers against marketable, smaller men where they completely dominated them. Roy Jones against Vinny Pazienza, Oscar De La Hoya against Arturo Gatti. And Pazienza and Gatti were good fighters. But Marquez is a top pound-for-pound -pound fighter. And against him... Floyd Mayweather now has landed more punches than he's landed in any other fight, and he's totally swapped all the previous statistics about people landing punches against Marquez. He's making a mockery out of what some expected to be a true summit meeting. Yeah, the, the, the impression Floyd's leaving here is even if you took away the size advantage, he would be way too much for Marquez. And certainly those people who've been so enthusiastic about Pacquiao's chances against Mayweather they now have to re-examine that theory. And that's one of the reasons Floyd chose Marquez clearly as his comeback opponent. At the beginning of the fight, Jim, I asked, can Floyd convince us that he's still the best fighter in the world? Some would say, well, no, not against Marquez. He's too small, and he was cherry-picked by Floyd. Because, of, because he was too small. But this is the kind of performance that will convince many that Floyd is still the best fighter in the world. And despite all the publicity about his various distractions, about his glitzy, wing-filled lifestyle, about the amazingly unusual family life you see on 24-7, despite all of those things, independent sources confirm he is as hard and as diligent a worker in the gym as there is or has been in the sport. Yeah, and even, even when he was off, that was the one thing that people realized. When he was off, he was still going to the gym training. It's like some guys quit. They're golfing, they're drinking, they're doing a lot of things. Their minds are not even boxing. He's always been training in the gym continually. Floyd goes to nightclubs, but he doesn't drink. He stays up late, but often it's to train. There are no flies on his approach to the sport as a competitor. And he clearly here is pressing for the knockout. Something he's been criticized in the past for not getting when he's outclassed certain opponents. So, with the goal of winning a moral victory by taking a round, now seeming to elude him, Marquez goes for the other moral victory. Finish the fight. That's what I thought at the beginning. I never thought he could.